I am replacing the <clears throat> battery terminals and uh, putting new ends on the battery cables in my truck F250 and it's because the old ones were rotted out uh, full of corrosion there's the old one there and you can see how it's just a cheap little brass thing and then inside of here it's all covered with corrosion let me cut the insulator off of here Okay, so the negative terminal is not as bad as the positive terminal was. Here you can see some of the junk that was in the positive terminal. Let me and let me see if I can find the old positive terminal here. Okay, so the old positive terminal was basically falling apart. It was broken. And then uh, the battery cables were just rolled up into this, and they were all severely corroded. So I'm just replacing those with these zinc battery terminals that have a post lug on them. <clears throat> They're uh, brass with a zinc plate. And I'm putting new ends on them with these here lug connectors. I crimp them. I've got a special $200 ripoff tool from Greenlee. But it does do a very good crimp. And they're very strong, very good terminals. So I'm going to crimp the terminal with some flux on the wires and after crimping then I will solder the terminal onto the cable <clears throat> and that will give me a really good connection that will never again corrode and uh, unfortunately uh, I can't really show you how to solder because I've only got one hand to hold the camera and I need two hands to solder so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished up. But uh, this is the general idea here on the positive. You put on the new zinc uh, brass terminal. We've got our new crimp connectors that are soldered together. And um, I can show you right now the truck was beginning to start very slowly. Um, so I'm just going to put the key in and you can hear it start easily, theoretically. So that was a much quicker, easier start than it has. Okay, so let me finish that and, um, and another nice thing is that it will get better charge to the truck camper now because it's got a better connection. I like, uh when things work. Okay, so let me uh, go and finish that up. Okay, and that is the battery terminals are all repaired now. New better terminals are crimped and soldered. These two are 4 gauge. This one is 8 gauge. These two are 4 gauge. And that one is 8 gauge. Hey Potter, how you doing buddy? And then these are zinc plated brass battery terminal connectors with a stud on them. So it makes a nice solid connection now. Let's go fire it up. These are the old connectors. You can see all the corrosion that was in there. You can see that uh, they were breaking away a little bit. 
This one here was breaking away a bit. So those are just not making a very good connection. <clears throat> okay, so now the truck starts right up. Let me get the keys, put them in the ignition, and listen to how quick this starts. doesn't have any uh, bog in the starting motor now. Uh, it was bogging down because of the resistance in the connections because of all the corrosion battery gunk that built up in the wiring. So the wiring has all been cleared out, cleaned out, uh, heated up the wire, put some uh, acid flux on there for soldering. That cleaned out the batteries, the cables, cleaned all the junk off the wiring. Then uh, I put some more, wiped it off, and put some more flux on, slipped the terminals on, crimped them, and soldered them together. And everything just soldered together beautifully. And there will never be corrosion on any of these terminals again. This is a permanent fix. Uh, still the weak link is where the terminal uh, connects to the battery post. I have uh, dielectric grease in there and so hopefully that will uh, work but we'll see what happens. Okay so there you go battery terminal repairs with um, some crimp connectors and a solder and flux. Okay. All right, so I hope this helps anybody that uh, needs to fix their battery terminal connections. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was useful to you. Please do uh, subscribe. And if you liked it, click like, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.